All right, y'all, we're back at it again with some simple circuits this time. This is also from Physics Aviary. Um, so a little background about me. If you're not my student here, I am a physics teacher in Mesquite ISD, and my name is Miss Perkins, and I teach um, high school physics. So let's get back at it. So... This is a series circuit, and for physics aviary, they don't just ask you to find the total resistance. They actually have you do a lot of different steps in order to find the power dissipated in a specific resistor. The thing that is really good about these ser about these particular problems is that unlike with more complicated circuits, you don't actually have to mess with any of the other resistors and calculate anything else except for the resistor they actually ask you about. Okay, so we're gonna take this step by step. And like in my other videos, the first step is to always start by finding your total resistance. Okay, I did that backwards. Your total resistance, RT. Okay, so with series circuits, it is beautifully simple. We just add them all together. R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4. Okay, so R1 is 90 ohms plus 61 ohms plus 41 ohms plus 21 ohms. Okay. So let me get out my calculator. I do 90 plus 61 plus 41 plus 21. And I'm getting my total resistance as being 213 ohms. Okay. But I'm not done. Because why would we be done? Why would it be that simple? Now, the next step is for us to solve for our total current, okay? So remember, we represent current with an I. And if you need help remembering stuff about current, remember we have C, I, A, okay? So that stands for current, whose symbol is an I, is measured in amps, okay? So if you needed a way to remember that, I hope that helps, okay? So for our total current, we take our voltage and we divide it by our total resistance that we just solved for. In this problem, they're telling us our total voltage is six volts. And for our total resistance, we just calculated that to be 213 ohms. Okay, so then I divide 6 by 213, and I'm getting 0 0.028. And again, that's in amps. Still not done. <laughs> okay, so our next step is now to plug this in for resistor 4. Oops. We're going to calculate the voltage that is going across resistor 4. Okay, so now we know our total current. Okay, the reason that I don't have to calculate the current going across each resistor is because in a series circuit, Our current is constant across all of your resistors, and your voltage, um, it's going to drop across each resistor.
right? So that is how I know that I can use my total current that I had previously solved for in order to solve for my voltage, okay? So voltage is our total current times the resistance across resistor four, okay? So then I plug in 0 0.028 amps times 21 ohms. Pull out my calculator, multiply by 21, and I'm getting 0 0.592 volts. And I will say that I had previously calculated current and I left that in my calculator so I didn't quite round to 0 0.028 so there was a little bit of change in my answer. Okay. So just in case you're getting a slightly different number using the numbers that I wrote down. All right. And then finally <laughs> for my last step that is to calculate the power across resistor 4. And for power, we continue to do our total current. And this time, we're multiplying that by the voltage running across resistor 4. Okay, so I'm going to take 0 0.028 times... 0 0.592 volts and I did round up to 0 0.592 but I'm leaving it in my calculator so sorry again and I'm multiplying by 0 0.028 and for my power I'm getting 0 0.01 I'm going to round to 7. 0 0.017 watts. Right? And that is our answer for this series circuit question.